I'm Christy Ballier, partner of Bear Ballier. Um, yeah, we're sitting here in our West Coast office in downtown Los Angeles. I think it was about almost three years ago uh, to this day uh, that we began the partnership. I think we're, we're not unique to those that offices that have a teaching uh, focus as well as a professional focus. So we spend our day like a pendulum, essentially swinging from you know budgets and construction and city codes to kind of highbrow to lowbrow concepts of, of architecture that are kind of out there. In combination with uh, you know Kelly staying in Chicago, um, our first client-based project is in Chicago. So um, the space is, or the, the project is uh, kind of two-faced um, in that there's two different programs that we've been tasked to provide. Uh, one is a cafe space and the other is an indoor kids playground. Um, and so uh, the idea is that the two spaces kind of share this storefront window, uh, which will ultimately be uncovered or unveiled once we get to that point. Um, but right now we're in the rough plumbing stages, um, which is, involves kind of jackhammering out uh, the various lines for uh, kitchen equipment, cafe equipment, uh, and mainly a lot of coffee equipment. So um, that's kind of the primary sales point um, in the space, as well as ice cream for kids. Actually, I can show you some of the, the elevation. So, um, one of the, the things that we're working on that's kind of final, final design is this elevation. So this is going to be the, the partition wall between the two spaces. Um, this is where we're going to start to design in some of the, the interactive windows uh, for the kids to play with. So yeah, so the podiums that we're doing for Woodbury are tall. They're, you know, probably 36 inches or something. Um, and what we're going to be doing for those is uh, similar to the material, the exact material that we were using for PS1. Um, so PS1, we were looking at, uh, these are kind of um, study models of the knuckles, so where pipes came together. Um, for Woodbury, we're going to use raw material as the podium bases, um, and then we're going to design our own tops um, that get kind of set into those, um, that corrugated plastic pipe. The rigid corrugated pipe became something that we were really interested in using and this company were it was from the very beginning like super interested in kind of participating in having their material that is usually underground is usually um, not appreciated in a, like an aesthetic way um, be put kind of as part of an installation and an exhibition where people would experience things that are sort of part of their infrastructure, but not usually part of their physical lives. All right. Awesome. Yeah, a piece of rope wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, piece of rope wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, awesome. Can we go over and look at the cutting process here? Sure. Sure. Yeah. These are. This is more of what we would have been. Um, more of what we would have been doing for PS1, which is. So beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's all laser cut, so it, the, the, the cuts are nice and straight. So we were really very, very conscious in how we were going to use it that you would actually never see into it, yeah. right? Because it sort of estranges that thing. It's more, so the way you would have seen it in the courtyard would have been very much more how we're seeing it there, yeah. which is that we wouldn't have seen into it we would have kind of put custom caps on the end of it so that it really does oscillate between the pipe and that you know and 
a kind of a, a large line with qualities. Awesome. Well, thank you very thank much. You. Have an awesome day. Loud Lines is a project in and of itself, the lower case P. Um, it's the PS1 project, but it also encompasses like four other projects that um, the kind of thinking behind them are all knit together. So the, I think the, the major thing that we're doing now is we're getting ready to plate all of the lines. Um, we can put him on here. Let's see what that's going to... So just sort of testing whether this is going to like... Is that too dangerous? Is it living on the edge? Yeah, you can peel all those, all those off. Like this is basically extracting this thing from the courtyard okay. and then that those are just Ah. Yeah, I think we're I think we're close. So the idea of it being plated is that a plate is something that both can help situate something and also kind of display objects that are not related to them. So I think what we're seeing here um, is a room full of drawings that are fitting in a singular format, even though they're representing five different projects in the office. And then each of the kind of um, clusters um, of plates um, within the room are holding models um, from different projects, sometimes iterations of a project. In other cases, they're kind of pulling a project out of its context. In this case, the PS1 project that was designed for a courtyard and had a large site model. Um, but here in the context of this show, it's, we're really interested in kind of the way we were working on the project and how you can see the kind of major ideas of this project kind of showing up across other, um, other projects. So the plate is both something that's meant to be um, specific um, and display um, items that are custom to the plate that they're on, but it's a plate is also in this context meant to sort of create a datum um, within the space that can hold everything uh, together. Um, yeah, so I think we're done. This is pretty great. I can't wait to kind of kick this off and kind of party with the Woodbury students tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>